What's up, everybody? Billy Carson here, Forbidden Knowledge. My last post is a post about the free vacation giveaway that I give out to everyone who subscribes to Forbidden Knowledge TV. So if you're an active subscriber, check your email account, and um, you'll see an email from me with a link to ForbiddenKnowledge.com, the only website I have between besides Forbidden Knowledge TV. And you'll be able to... Um, activate your free vacation for being an active subscriber on Forbidden Knowledge TV. I want to thank everyone that has subscribed. Good morning, everybody. I see all of you guys hopping on here. I appreciate it. Um, thank you to everyone that has subscribed to Forbidden Knowledge TV. And uh, I did send out an email this morning that went to everyone on the active subscribers list. So if you're an active subscriber, in other words, you, your subscription is still active. You didn't cancel or put it on vacation mode then every single person um, from day one till now, people who even got one before got a second one that they can now use as well. So some people have two vacation packages. The longer you stay on Forbidden Knowledge TV, the more benefits you, you get. We've given away six brand new computers. Uh, we've given away a free Roku device. We've given away a free 21-inch um, mon monitor, flat screen monitor. We've given away... Amazon one Amazon Fire TV, which is like a Fire Stick, and it turns on or activates your Fire TV. Uh, what else have we given away? So much stuff. And then also with the revenue from the subscribers, I bought 1,000 book bags for uh, underprivileged children to go back to school with around the United States. So uh, that post is also on Forbidden Knowledge. I think that post is also on Forbidden Knowledge TV as well. So you can check it out there. Uh, we gave away 1,000 book bags to underprivileged children, and we fill those book bags with everything they need for class, for school. Notepads, uh, journals, pens, pencils, you know, everything that we can pretty much think that they would need, we put inside the bag. And so that's all thanks to you guys. Not thanks to me. Thanks to you guys for actually participating by being an active subscriber. Uh, I just reappropriated that revenue towards helping people. Um, uh, so it's, it's a great thing. Um, we do have a free car giveaway coming up that you've been seeing me promote. The, the um, video for that is also on ForbiddenKnowledge.tv, which you can access through any app, Apple TV, Roku, or Amazon Fire TV, or just your iPhone or Android phone app. And we are giving away a free car that's going to be right after New Year's based off of active subscribers, people who have become active subscribers on Forbidden Knowledge TV. There's going to be a drawing, and some lucky person is just going to get a free car. See how we give money back to the people instead of being like these multi-billion dollar corporations that just keep taking and taking and taking and taking. Also, I have a huge announcement for um, next week. Next week, I have something special for people in the UK, Australia, um, UK, Australia, India, and South America, just for those subscribers, because those subscribers sometimes can only take advantage of certain offers and things that I give away because of their location in the world. However, I have some special stuff coming just for foreign subscribers, for foreign people only. As you know, we do a lot of things. You know, I did a $1,000 grant for minority-owned businesses. And this week, you'll see me go live with uh, some of the grant recipients, the people that actually got the cashier's checks from me uh, for their small business. We're going to go live and talk to them this week. As you know, I always make everything public. And for the Euro for the people in Europe and some of the other places in the world, the foreigners that have subscribed to Forbidden Knowledge TV, I got something very special for you guys coming up. A little something extra because you can't take advantage of all the different offers and things. So I didn't forget about you guys. I didn't forget. I got you. Don't worry. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you for everyone that helped me by reporting all those fake Instagram accounts. They're all gone. I appreciate that. Uh, I really, really appreciate that, man. Like, I mean, at one point it was like 10 that popped up almost all at once. I guess they must use a robot to make those fake accounts or something. I don't know how they do it. Uh, and then they contact every person that's following me and send them a direct message because they don't have your email or nothing like that. But it's just an it's just an annoying thing, I guess. I guess that means I'm famous. I don't know what it means. I guess I'm finally become a big time target. I saw I saw them doing it to Gary V, 
the big, you know, he's got like 14 million followers or some crazy number. And I, I heard him talking about it a couple weeks ago. And I was like, these people are crazy. Then all of a sudden I became a target too. But uh, by me exposing it, and I think by him as well, exposing it to the followers, letting people know that there's these fake accounts popping up trying to send direct messages, they had no choice but to stop because it doesn't make any more sense. They can't spend the energy anymore. Not everybody knows those accounts are just, you know, brand new account. I mean, it was so easy to see. I know I never had a private account. And, of course, I know how to spell forbidden knowledge. I know how to spell my name, Billy Carson. Why would I spell my name wrong? These fake accounts with 15 posts and stuff like that, you know? Um, so, but yeah, we we're, we got past it. We're over it. If it happens again, I'll let you guys know. But for right now, I don't see it happening for a while if it does happen again. But as soon as it happens, please, as always, you know, how I found out was you guys. All of you beautiful people, uh, men and women, uh, young adults and uh, older adults, helped me by actually notifying me by direct message that, you know, this was going on. And fortunately, I was able to see some of those messages and able to act on it and, uh, you know, make it aware to the public that this is what was going on. So I appreciate that. So, you know, somebody in some foreign country making fake accounts. You could tell they were foreigners because when I started reading the DM that they were sending to people and reading the website that they had, the fake website they put up with my picture on it, the English was like broken English. It sounded more like maybe Asia or India, one of those places, you know? It didn't sound... Um, it didn't sound like uh, a well-spoken American person or a well-spoken British person. But the English was kind of broken. So that let me know it was probably in some other country. It maybe even could have been Nigeria. I mean, we don't even, we have no idea. But either way, together with all you guys' help, we figured it out. So thanks again. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, so there's going to be a lot more giveaways I'm going to announce another brand new giveaway later on today on Forbidden Knowledge TV or for Forbidden Knowledge TV. Um, there is a brand new episode up right now, episode 20 of Egyptian Mystery School. Episode 20. We're up to episode 20 now. Uh, so you got to check out episode 20. Great content, amazing information. And we still have about, th uh, let me see, we have episode 20, so 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have 60 more episodes to go. It's the episode 20. We still got 60 more episodes that are being edited to upload. And we've uploaded now, since the last time I went live and talked about Forbidden Knowledge TV, we probably uploaded about another 120 shows. Um, so I think you're going to love a lot of these workshops, lectures. Uh, a great show that I just did with Matt LaCroix, the author of Matt LaCroix. Uh, I did it in Maine on a private island. And um, it was incredible for me just to go out there and see that nature and be in that nature and then actually do a show. We talked about Sumerian cuneiform tablets that have never been talked about on the air, on YouTube, on TV, anywhere, ever in the history of you know, this discovery of these tablets. And we read them um, online. We read them on the Forbidden Knowledge TV show. So look for the latest show with me and Matt LaCroix on Forbidden Knowledge TV. Um, it's an amazing episode. I think you're going to really, really like it and learn something amazing from it. Like who we truly are. Uh, we reveal who these ancient people came here and who they revealed who we truly are. I think it's going to be a shocker for a lot of people. I really hope a lot of religious people watch this, that episode. A lot of, if you know somebody that's over religious, you need to get them on that episode. Don't tell them too much. Just let them, just let them listen. I think they're going to find out who they truly are. And I think they're going to become empowered. I think they're going to find out that <laughs> we're the saviors we've been waiting on. And we are the brilliant ones. We are the adept initiates. We are the chosen ones. We meaning the entire human race, not one specific color of people. So I think you're gonna. I think they're gonna really find out some amazing information if they listen to that 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 show. It's about a 40 minute show. It's well worth the listen. The learning that you're gonna get in that one show is worth the subscription alone. And it's all backed by actual information, actual factual. We don't just make up a whole bunch of stuff. You know, it's one thing that I pride myself on is not getting online and making up a whole bunch of garbage. Like, you'll never see me just get online and start posting a whole bunch of junk that I can't back up with ancient texts or science. I just don't do it. People send me stuff all the time. I get a lot of DMs, a lot of messages, people who know my phone number, my WhatsApp. I get a lot of messages, stuff to post. I can only research but so much time in a day. If I, re if I see something interesting, I'll research it. If I believe it's valid, I'll post it. If I don't believe it's valid, I won't post it. 
you know a lot of people are running around posting the 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 um the flight log for Epstein well I found the original flight log for Epstein that was released by the courts and I'm here to tell you that the flight log that a lot of people are putting out is fake it's fake they made it up somebody made it up and everybody kept passing it along all those famous people's names aren't on the flight log there are some famous people's names on the flight log I have the original court released flight log and I analyzed it for three days straight going through every single one and I found that probably 60% of the names on the one that's been passed around the internet are not on that log so people who are people are being defamed uh, for no reason just because somebody decided they wanted some likes you know and knowing that a lot of people won't do any research at all just take that copy and paste list and keep it rolling and hurting people along the way without checking or researching anything about it to find out for themselves if it was true or if it was fake so that's why you know and myself being a victim of of uh, identity theft before being a victim of being falsely accused before and beating that and winning that I know what it feels like to be subjugated to that kind of um, falsehood and, and how detrimental it can actually be to a person. Not only um, not only mentally how it can be detrimental, but it can also be detrimental financially. Fortunate for, for me, you know, I'm my own boss. But what if I worked for a company and these hateful people that made up a lot of stuff? Um, where to just say, you know, I want to contact his job. I want to send this information in and, and get him fired from his job or whatever. People do that all day long, you know. It's a, it's a thing that people do. Um, if somebody's working on a huge contract and all of a sudden this information pops up on, about them online, whether it's real or whether it's fake, it's going to put a question mark, you know, in the, in the company's head. Um, you know, and so things like that can hurt people. If it's a, if it's a famous person, whether they're an athlete or an actor or whatever, it can hurt their fan base. It can hurt everything that they work and strive so hard to build just because some people decide they want to make up a whole bunch of stuff. Somebody said, do you smoke weed? No, I don't smoke at all. This is my eyes. If you look at my baby picture, my eyes look the same exact way from the time I was a kid. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't hang out and I don't go to clubs. And I've been like, I've been like that my entire life. When I was 17, I drank two beers. I didn't like it. I never drank again. When I And when I say I'm going to cut something, I cut it. If I say I'm done with something, I'm done with something. That's how I am. I'm pretty abrupt. I don't need a, I don't need a period to ramp down. I don't need a time to get myself out of it. When I'm done with something, I just snap my fingers and it's over. That's how powerful my brain is. I don't need DMT. I don't need ayahuasca. I don't need uh, any hallucinogenics. I don't need any of that stuff because my brain works perfectly fine. Since I was a kid, I was meditating and seeing and um, seeing geometric figures, see geometric shapes during my meditation. Uh, I was transcending dimensions during my meditation as a kid. So now that I'm an older person, I don't just no need to reinvent the wheel. No, no need to change anything. If it ain't broke, don't fix it because that stuff will rewire rewire your brain. And it's good for some people. Some people need that stuff to get themselves kickstarted to to rewire their brain to for the better. My brain is exactly the way I want it and how I like it, and everything functions exactly the way I want it. You know, people look at me and say, how can you have five adult children, the oldest being 30 and the youngest being 20? Uh, three grandchildren, the oldest being five, the youngest being just uh, one month old now. Well, my, my second grandchild, who's a grandson, he's, he's uh, four. How can you have, how can you do all this, you know, and, and, and not look like you're, you know, 60, 70 years old? Uh, because I take care of myself and you know people want to know how you know how I can be so financially successful I guarantee you it's not off this conscious community because I'll never get back the money I gave away in this whole thing I've given away over 12 million dollars uh, it's well documented publicly available information and um, you know I made it I did very well for myself very early on before the internet existed before Right at the beginning of the internet, basically, dot com marketing group was my first dot com. That at the very beginning, when dot coms were selling, it was a, it was you know AOL dial up account. It was wasn't even high speed internet didn't exist. I think there was only a hundred and twenty thousand email accounts when I first started, and um, you know, but but not drinking and not smoking, not doing drugs, not going to clubs. 
and then taking all that money and reinvesting it into myself. I was running businesses since the time I was 12. So, you know, reinvesting that money into my own self, into my own businesses. I moved out when I was 16 years old, moved out of my parents' house, got my own place. Not only did I get my own place, I had two cars, an apartment, still finished school, and still ran my businesses. Um, I had to move out because it was just a healthier situation for me. Um, you know, I love my mom. I love my dad. God bless them both. They both passed away. But at the time, my dad was severely addicted to alcohol and drugs. Maybe part reason why I decided I didn't want to have any, anything to do with that stuff. Uh, so for me to be healthy and have a clean thinking space and have good energy around me at all times, I just felt it was necessary for me to, for me to be on my own, you know. But um, I did all of that. And I'm saying all this to say, um, you know, you have to understand what's vitally important. I know a lot of people that are out there doing uh, drugs or smoking weed. Now, I don't call weed a drug. Weed is not a drug. When I say drugs, I'm talking about man-made stuff. When I say weed or marijuana, I'm talking about a plant. To me, I don't think anybody should be locked up or arrested for for uh, using marijuana or selling it. Because if you're selling marijuana, to me, I, I call you a <laughs> you're a, you're a florist. You're selling plants. I don't think I think it's the dumbest thing ever. And you know, but they find a way to make money off of locking people up off, off of plants. However. If you're taking marijuana and you don't have a reason, a medical reason for marijuana, in other words, you don't have glaucoma, you don't have heart disease, you don't have cancer, you don't have any of these things, and you're struggling financially or you're just making your ends meet, um, you don't need to be smoking, you don't need to be buying marijuana. You need to take that money and invest it. I know somebody that was spending $300 a month on smoking weed, and this person... <laughs> was asking me to borrow $100 to pay their electric bill. I said, are you freaking kidding me? You want me to give you $100 to pay your electric bill, but you're spending about $300 on weed. You told me this like a month and a half before that. You're spending about $300 on weed and laughed about it, but you need 100 bucks for your electric bill. You see, I can't get with that kind of game. To me, if you don't have a medical issue, take that weed money, Put it back into invest it back into yourself if you don't have enough money to invest into yourself say trust me within six months of not smoking weed and saving that money put that money inside of a a, a jar or a bank or piggy bank or your bank account a separate savings account and watch how much money you have in six months i guarantee you can buy something you can invest in something you can start a business you can buy a corporation you can get yourself your tax id number you can build a website uh you can even probably uh create a mobile app mobile apps are so easy to make now they got point and click sites you can create mobile apps now for pretty much almost nothing and their monthly fees are not that bad anymore not that so many people have apps you can um you can get into a drop shipping company you can do all this kind of stuff man take that money and save it stop stop spending money on stuff you don't need you don't need to smoke weed don't smoke it if you see me right now my credit score is 850 that's my credit score i posted it in my story on billy carson uh, official my other account before not to brag but to show people you got to be smart in this matrix. You got to understand how to play this game and reverse the energy back on the system. You see? Because when you need to do something and make a move on something, you need to be able to do it. You, need, you can't be thinking and hoping and waiting and, oh, if I, when, I, when I get this right, then I'm going to do this. And when this get right, I'm going to do that. You got to be ready to make moves. This matrix is moving like this. This matrix ain't going slow. It's moving fast. And matter of fact, it's moving faster and faster and faster. So take that money you're smoking weed with and invest in your building your credit. Fix your business credit. Fix your personal credit. Be ready to make a move if you need to make a move. When all these properties drop in nine months, when this real estate market takes a huge drop, you know what I'm doing? I'm building me a black Wall Street. I'm about to buy everything I could possibly buy. I'm ready because I didn't play no games with my life. You see? People say, oh, you drive around in a Rolls Royce. I don't pay no money for that Rolls Royce. For the first uh, 18 months, I rented that car out. $900 a day. I took all that money. Now I don't rent it anymore. I just keep it full time for myself. I was only renting it 12 times, sometimes 15 times a month. I took all that money and kept it and reinvested it. You see, that car cost me zero dollars. I paid nothing for that car. Not one penny. This car I'm driving in right now, this S560 Mercedes, brand new. This is a lease, a business lease. This is 100% tax deductible. Every single payment I make on this car, I write off every single payment. I don't make any payments on this car. I pay it, but then at the end, when the taxes come, I get 100% tax credit on a lease, on a business lease. 
This car is in my business name. I didn't just call it in my personal name. They put everything in your business and your tax ID number. See, you guys got to know how to make moves out here in this matrix. But don't worry, I got a new book coming out called Being Woke Doesn't Mean Being Broke. That's the name of the book. That's a real name. Being Woke Doesn't Mean Being Broke. And I'm going to drop some heavy knowledge on you guys and teach you and show you there's a way to run through this matrix, be conscious and woke without being broke. Because if you're running around telling people how about manifestation and showing them my videos about how to manifest your reality and we got power inside of us and you can't manifest a car payment, a rent payment, a mortgage payment, or a light bill payment, people are going to look at you and laugh. They're going to be like, man, this guy's a joke. This girl's a joke. She don't know what the hell she's talking about. He don't know what the hell he's talking about. Manifest this and manifest that. They just asked me for 20 bucks last week because they didn't have no gas to get to work. You see, you got to be smart. If you're learning, really operating in manifestation, abundance should come to you. And I, when I say abundance, I don't mean you're going to be a millionaire. But what I'm saying is if all your needs will be met no matter what it is. I never worry about bills being paid. I never worry about uh, is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? I just flow. I just I just get in the flow and I move because I really truly believe that abundance is going to come to me at all times when I need it, when I need it. And abundance can be can mean different things for different people. It could be financial success. It could be love life success, family success. It could be many different things. It could be peace. Abundance could be just being at peace. But if you're not at peace and you're speaking about all this stuff and the ability to do all these things and you're not at peace, then people are going to laugh at you. They can tell when you're distressed, when your energy and your vibration is low. Hey, man, this guy's a joke. He's making, he's saying all this stuff, but he, he's low frequency every single day of the week. He's always complaining about this and complaining about that. So your abundance can come from many different angles. But people are paying attention, especially the people you're talking to, and you're trying to tell them about what you can do and what how to live and everything else, and all of a sudden, it's not showing, you. You're not, they, they don't see it in your life. They don't see it in your life. It's non-existent. But anyway, that guy got me sidetracked. Whoever that was got me sidetracked on, on that weed. Got took me a whole down a whole other tangent. If you're smoking weed, man, beautiful. I love you. But I'm saying, if you if you if you if you if you're barely making it, and there's a lot of people here smoking weed. That's just when I say barely making it. A lot of people in America. Uh, I don't know about the rest of the world, but in America, they live in paycheck to paycheck. People in America are already thinking today is uh, I think Tuesday, and they're already thinking, boy, Friday when I get that check. They're already laying out what they're going to do with that paycheck on Friday. They're planning for a day. What day? What's going to happen that day? The elites? Mm -mm. No. They think what's going to happen in a thousand years. You know what? They're saying, you know what? In a thousand years, I'd like to see this happen. In 5,000 years, this is what we want to look, what we want the planet to look like and what I want my, my, uh, my family, my prosperity to, to be involved in. That's what they're doing. We're planning for tomorrow. Well, I wonder what I'm going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow, you know, I'm going to take this little bit of money. I'm gonna, No. You got to get the millennial mindset. You got to start planning for millenniums. Stop planning for tomorrow. Plan for millenniums. And watch everything change. When you start planning for millenniums, your whole outlook on the, even the universe is going to change. I plan for millenniums. I don't plan for tomorrow. I don't plan for what's going to happen tonight. I'm planning for millenniums. Literally. That's what I do. I plan from the, I copy in what they do. You know why? Because that shit works. It's been working. They got the planet wrapped up and sewed up tight. I'm copying everything they do and I'm using it for my own benefit, my own conscious benefit and enlightening others. Let's use the system that they mastered against them. Why do I got my own TV network? Because theirs sucks. I'm copying all their marketing techniques, everything they do, and I'm using it for myself to bring consciousness. I don't like the music on the radio. I got my own uh, my own record label, and I got my own music. I got 120, 120 songs in distribution, and another 200 songs coming this year before this year before this year ends. I got my own music going out there. 432 hertz. I don't I don't compl see I don't complain about what they do. I just create my own. I don't like YouTube demonetizing and stealing money from people. I created my own platform for BTube. I don't like the social media platform, including this one that I'm on now. I created my own social media platform, Unite the 99. You see? This is how you create your own rea your reality. You create it literally. Like, I don't just talk shit and run around here doing nothing. I'm out here going to work, getting my hands dirty. And I'm copying all the tech, all the things they do, I'm watching them, and I'm monitoring them. And I'm, just like they're watching and monitoring me, I'm watching and monitoring them. 
I'm copying all their marketing techniques, all their tactics, everything they do, and I'm using that for consciousness. Because why? They spent billions of dollars to get to where they're at, and they hired all the top scientists and, neuro, and, and neuroscientists in the world to figure out how to mind screw people and get them all bent up on the inside and, and twist them around. I said, okay, I see what y'all are doing. Let's flip, this, let's flip the script on this and do it the opposite way, but using the same techniques. It's all about how you see things, you see? Forget about seeing the glass half empty and half full. The glass is always full. You know why? Because in the glass you have liquid. Then above the liquid you have atmospheric gases. Yeah. Atmospheric gases exist everywhere around us. And it's not just oxygen. We don't breathe in just oxygen. Oxygen is only 21% of what you're breathing in. You're breathing in <laughs> krypton, argon, all these other gases that you're breathing in. Helium, believe it or not. You're breathing helium. You're breathing in all these other gases. Uh, at the same time that you're breathing in oxygen. Oxygen is only 21% of what you're breathing. So those gases is actually, a, is actually a soup. So on top of that liquid inside the glass is this soup called atmosphere that's on top of that. So your glass is always overflowing. Stop seeing, stop, don't even let that old saying put a cap on what you think. The glass is always full. That's a great saying, but I'm just telling you, you no, know, it's overflowing because it's always full. It's overflowing because of the atmospheric gases. See, I, I see things totally different than the average person totally different and that's why i move through this matrix like i do people will try to stop me people will try to hurt me people will try everything they can but i'm gonna still keep moving until the day that this avatar body decides it's done with this mission on this planet and it's time to move on and recycle myself back into the incarnation cycle somewhere else all right but look i love y'all i gotta run in here and do some errands right quick thanks everybody for, for uh signing up for forbidden knowledge tv if you don't know i do have an instagram account at forbidden knowledge tv and the website is ForbiddenKnowledge.tv or 4BK.tv. The last post I made is, uh, uh, you can check it out. It's about the vacations that I give away to everybody that's an active subscriber. I go in there randomly and give away free stuff. Even I think I give away on that page free airline tickets and hotels as well. And I've been doing this for a very long time. It's nothing new. I've been using it for other things. There's probably um, three or 4,000 people that have redeemed free vacations already. And a lot of great testimonials, which I'm going to start screenshotting those testimonials and posting them. I might even go ahead and do that today. My, my next post, or maybe the one after next, will be testimonials of people that have actually, uh, you know, used some of this stuff. So you can see that it's, uh, it's real. It's real. All right. I catch y'all later. I love y'all. Check out my last post on Instagram because you, you know, they're 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 hindering the content so much. It's so shadow banned. You never know who's going to see it or if it's ever going to be seen. I'll try to share this video to Instagram if it lets me upload it. If not, I'll probably share it to my YouTube account, all right? I'll catch y'all later, man. Appreciate y'all.